Okay, guys, it's Teacher Anya, and we're going to do a bunch of phonics today. So I know this is everyone's favorite. It's my favorite. I love phonics. Uh, so we're going to do a lot of phonics today. We're going to read and do a lot of um, word sounds, and we're going to look at some pictures together and talk about the names of the pictures um, and read some stories. So we're focusing on the TTT ta 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 sound first. So let's look at our picture. Okay, so let's look at this first thing. What do we call this in English? It's a toothbrush. Toothbrush, okay, because this is your teeth. Okay, and we're, we're brushing them, okay? So this is a toothbrush, okay? Good. What's this big bird with the big tail? That's a turkey okay so we have a big turkey okay and turkeys make a weird noise they go Gobble! okay they make a very strange noise so in america we eat a lot of turkey on thanksgiving it's very delicious okay it's like a big chicken very good okay this one we all know it's a ta ta tiger tiger good job so this is a tiger okay let's look at the next one okay so this is a, what is this? What do you think that is? Okay, it's a cat. Okay, it's a cat. Okay, and then this is a nut, okay? Particularly, it's a walnut. It's a walnut, okay? So this is a kind of nut, very delicious. And this is a net, Okay, so a nut and a net. Okay, so these are all words that we can say together. All right, let's read these words out loud. Ready? At. Good. Mat. Pat. Pat is to be like this. Okay, so you can pat a dog or you can pat a cat very gently. Okay, and they like it. Tap. Okay, so to tap is just to kind of. Okay, make a noise. Tap. Sat. And Tam. Tam is a name. Um, so it's somebody's name, okay? So Tam is a kind of name, all right? All right, words to know. So this word is very easy to know, right? Like, so I like something, okay? I like it. I like to eat it. So what do we like in this picture? Let's read it together. We like pizza. <gasps> we like pizza. Very good. Pizza is very yummy. What shape do you see here? Yeah, it's a triangle. What shape is the plate? Yeah, it's a circle. Good job. Okay, so we like pizza. I like the tent. Okay, so I like the tent. Okay, what shape is our tent? Our tent is what shape? Yeah, our tent is a triangle. Triangle. Very good. Your onion's going to drink some water because her throat hurts. And now she has water in her nose. Not very fun. Okay. So the tent is a triangle shape. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's read the next one. So this is a book. We're going to read it together. We like Tam. Okay. So we already know that Tam is a name. Do we think that Tam is a person or an animal? Do we know? Yeah, we don't know yet, okay? So let's keep reading. We like Tam. Tam appears to be a guinea pig, okay? So this is the name of this animal. It's called a guinea pig. Guinea is a place, okay? So guinea is a place, and this is where the guinea pig comes from. And the guinea pig is not really a pig. It's a rodent. So it's in the same family as a mouse or a rat, okay? It's just a big, fluffy, they're like, it can fit in your hand, okay? So this is a guinea pig, okay? It's from Guinea, which is a place, it's a country. All right, so, all right, so this is our guinea pig. I'm guessing our guinea pig is named Tam, right? <laughs> so let's keep reading and find out. Okay, I'm gonna make myself smaller so that we can see more of the picture together, okay? Ready? All right, so we have a girl. Is she Tam? How do we know that? There's two clues. Okay, number one, this is Tam's cage. 
and it has his name on it, okay? So we know that Tam is our guinea pig, okay? We also know this because there's a picture of Tam on the wall with a bunch of hearts, okay? So we like Tam. So Tam has a lot of hearts around him, okay? All right, so let's read. Tam, the guinea pig, can see Pam, the girl. So Tam can see Pam. All right, so let's look. So Tam can see Pam. Can Pam see Tam? Yeah, she can, okay? She sees him. She's saying, hello, hi, Tam, okay? All right, so Tam sees Pam. All right, let's see what happens next. Okay, Tam is up against his cage. Let me out, okay? So who does Tam see? Is this Pam? No. So who are we seeing here? It's a little boy with a bell, okay? Tam can see Sam. Okay, so this is Sam. Sam is a little boy, and Sam is holding this very strange little bell that he has here for some reason, okay? So we don't know yet why he has this bell, but we're going to find out, okay? So Tam can see Sam, okay? So Sam can see Pam. And Sam can see Sam, uh, Tam can see Sam. <laughs> okay, let's try again. So Tam can see Pam and Tam can see Sam. Okay, so he can see two people. All right. All right, let's find out what's going to happen. All right, so Sam is bling, 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 bling. He's ringing his bell. Why do we think he's doing that? Look at Tam. Tam's like, what is happening up there, okay? So Tam is hearing. Remember we talked about a few weeks ago, we talked about um, using our senses. So Tam is hearing and he's seeing that Sam is ding, 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 ding. He's ringing the bell, okay? Okay, Sam can tap, tap the bell, Okay, bling, 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 bling. So Sam can tap the bell and it will make a noise, okay? Okay, so let me make myself smaller again. Okay, so Tam can tap the bell with his nose, right? He can hit the bell with his nose and make it bling, 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 bling. Okay, so that's what he's doing. So let's read about what he's doing. Tam can tap, tap the bell, okay? So he can tap, tap the bell with his nose and make it ring, okay? So Tam's pretty smart. He knows how to ring a bell. That's pretty good for a guinea pig, right? Okay. All right, so their teacher is holding Tam. Do you think Tam is very soft? Yeah, I think Tam is really, really soft, okay? So he's probably really fun to hold, okay? All right, so their teacher is holding Tam. All right, we, we, so remember you plus me is we, we like Tam, okay? So all of us like Tam. So Pam, Sam, and their teacher, okay? They all like Tam. Tam is very soft and very smart, okay? Because he can ring the bell. All right, so here's a new book. I like Sam. I like Sam, okay? What's Sam? Yeah, Sam's a monkey. Good job. Okay, so Sam is a monkey, and he's sitting in a bunch of shapes. So all of these shapes are the same shape. So all of these things are the same shape. So we have a tire, a drum, and a basketball. What shape are they? Yep, they're a circle. Very good job. Okay, so Sam the monkey is sitting in a bunch of circles. So let's see what happens, okay? So Sam is, he's hitting his cap, okay? So let's see what happens, okay? And he has a big bowl of nuts. Remember, we learned this in the beginning in our vocabulary. Sam can pat the cap, okay? So Sam can pat his cap. He can touch his cap and pat it, okay? Very good reading. Okay, what's Sam doing here? He's brrr, making the basketball bounce up and down, okay? So 
Sam can pat the ball. And when you pat the ball, the ball bounces up and down, right? So it bounces up and down. So Sam can pat his cap on his head and he can pat the ball. So there's quite a bit that he can do here, okay? All right, Sam has a drum. What do you think he's gonna do with the drum? Okay, Sam can tap the drum, okay? Sam can tap the drum. So he's using one finger, tap, 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 to tap the drum, okay? So Sam can tap the drum and he can make it make a noise, all right? Very good. All right, what's our next thing that Sam can do? Oh, wow, he has a big nut, okay? So Sam can tap the nut, okay? So he takes the nut in his hand and he tap, tap, tap. He taps it on the rock. Why is he doing that? Yeah, he's breaking the shell, okay? So he can get to the nut inside and eat it, okay? So he's very clever. He's tapping the nut. Let me make myself bigger. He's tapping the nut so he can break the shell so he can eat what's inside of it, okay? All right, what's he doing here? He's giving the nut to his little boy, okay? So his little friend here. I like Sam. Okay, I like Sam, okay? Why do we like Sam? Sam, is he very, very mean or is he very, very nice? Yeah, he's really nice, right? He breaks this nut open and he like shares it with his little boy. So he's a really, really nice monkey, okay? So we like Sam or I like Sam, okay? All right, it's our favorite part, readers to writers. So you're going to write a little bit here when we're done with our lesson. Right now, you do not need to write, or you can, but you'll have to pause the video, okay? So ask your mom or dad what they want you to do. But if not, we can write after the lesson, okay? So ideas, ideas are things that we think of in our head, okay? Look at the shape poster that Amy made. Amy's sentences... Okay, Amy's sentence, rather, one sentence, tells about what she sees in the poster. Okay, a poster is a big drawing of something that helps explain something. So you've probably had to make a poster for school for like a project, right? Okay, so Amy writes this. These are circles. Can you read this with me, this sentence, please? Let's go. These are circles. Circles. Good job. So she drew a big poster and she writes what word? What is this word? Can you read it? Yeah, circles. Good. And she draws how many circles? Four circles. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So four different kinds of circles. Okay. So these are mm, circles. Okay. Very good. All right. So let's keep reading. Look at the shape poster that Liam made, okay? We said his name, Liam, Liam, okay? Look at the shape poster that Liam made. Liam's sentence tells about what he sees in the poster, okay? So Liam's model, Liam's example, these are triangles, okay? Let's read it together, please. These are triangles. Very good. All right. So triangles, what do you see here? I see a bunch of food. So I see, what's this? Pizza. What's this? Cheese. What's this? <gasps> Watermelon. So delicious. Okay. All of these foods are triangles. Okay. So Liam's poster has a bunch of triangles on it. Okay. All right. I'm going to make myself smaller so we can read this better. Okay, category words. So remember, what's a category? A category is a group of things that are like each other, okay? So our category this week is shapes, okay? Shapes are um, all the things that tell us that what, what something looks like, what shape it is, okay? So read the following story. Tell the children, that's you, okay? So you, the children, have to raise your hand when you hear a shape word. So every time 
Teacher Anya reads you a shape word, you have to raise your hand and wave it so I can see you through the computer waving at me, okay? Okay, so Teacher Anya is going to read you this story. Every time you hear a shape word, raise your hand, okay? Julio. So we don't say this name as Julio. In Spanish, this is a Spanish name. In Spanish, the letter J is pronounced like the letter H, okay? So anytime in Spanish where you see J, it's going to be H sound, okay? So Julio went to a restaurant with mom. Mom suggested, what's suggested? Suggested is to ask someone to do something or to try something, okay? So your mom might be like, hey, you should try these new noodles that I just bought. She's suggesting that you try something, okay? She's asking you to try it, okay? So mom suggested that they look for different shapes, okay? So they're sitting in the restaurant and they're looking around and they're looking for what? Yeah, they're looking for different shapes, okay? This is what they found. The plate was a circle. Raise your hand. I can see you. Raise your hand, good. The table was a square. Good job raising your hand, keep going. The window was a rectangle. Good job. The roof was a triangle. Shape word, good job. Julio's hamburger was a circle. Mom's sandwich was a square. The piece of pie was a triangle. Julio didn't know shapes could taste so good, okay? So do you think shapes taste really, really good? Yeah, they do, right? Okay, so we can look at a lot of different shapes like Julio and his mom did. So if we look around the room, right, the door that you see in your room might be like a rectangle, okay? It's like I can show you here, like see, that's my door and it's a big rectangle, right? Okay, or the clock might be like a circle, right? The clock in your classroom is probably a circle, okay? So let's read these sentences together, okay? Shared writing, okay? So this is writing that we share with each other. Let me make myself bigger. Here I am in the side. Look around the room. What do you see? What shapes are in your room? Okay, I see two rectangles. Okay, this word should have an S at the end because whenever we have more than one of something in English, we add an S. So this sentence is incorrect. So I see two rectangles. These books have the shape of a rectangle. Okay, so books have the shape of a rectangle. All right, let's see the new thing. Okay, this is a computer, right? I see a rectangle. The computer screen has the shape of a rectangle. So the screen is what we look at when we look at a computer. You're looking at me on a screen right now. So your iPad has a screen or your computer has a screen and the screen is what we look at. I see a rectangle. The door has the shape of a rectangle, okay? So our doors all around us, like Teacher Anya's door over there, is the shape of a rectangle, okay? I see a rectangle. The envelope has the shape of a rectangle, okay? An envelope is what we put a letter inside of. We fold the letter and we, we lick the envelope and then we put it in the mail, okay? And we send it. I see many rectangles. The window panes have the shape of a rectangle. Window panes, okay, this is not like pain, like, ow, I hurt myself. That's P-A-I-N, P-A-N-E. Okay, this is one of those weird English words that has two meanings, right? So we have pain, P-A-I-N, and that's like when you hurt yourself. Ow, oh, that's painful, okay? Then you have a window pane, P-A-N-E. Window pane is the pieces of glass inside of a window. So we call these panes of glass. 
Pain is a very old word and it means a sheet, okay, a flat sheet. So window pane is a sheet of glass, okay? All right. I see a square. The chessboard has the shape of a square, okay? So the chessboard where we play the game of chess, okay, it's shaped like a square and it has a lot of little tiny squares inside of it, okay? I see a square. The napkin has the shape of a square. Okay, so a napkin is something that we use, right, to wipe our mouth or to put on our lap when we go to a restaurant. Okay, so the napkin has the shape of a square. Okay, what else do we see that has the shape of a square? I see a, a square. The table has the shape of a square. Okay, so this table is shaped like a square, okay? Most tables are either round or they're shaped like a square or they're a rectangle. So do you ever, have you ever seen a table that's shaped like a triangle? No, that's like a strange shape for a table, right? Okay. I see two squares, the dices. Okay, we would never say dices in English. So this is wrong, okay? No S. Okay, so remember, how do we say more than one dice in English? We say die, okay, like you die, all right? So the die have the shapes of squares, okay? So I see two squares, the die have the shape of a square, okay? So these dice have the shape of a square. I see a circle. The button has the shape of a circle, okay? So a button, like we button our shirt, has the shape of a circle, okay? I see a circle. The clock has the shape of a circle, okay? So if we look at our watch or we look at the clock on the wall, it might be shaped like a circle, okay? Here's a pizza, yummy, yummy. I see a circle. The pizza has the shape of a circle, okay? So the pizza has the shape of a circle. I see a circle. The donut, yummy has the shape of a circle, okay? So the donut has the shape of a circle, all right. I see a triangle. The hanger, this is called a hanger. So a hanger is what we put our clothes on, right? When we hang them up in our closet. It's just called a hanger. It's very easy to remember, okay? A hanger is what we hang something on, okay? The hanger has the shape of a triangle, okay? It's shaped like a triangle usually, all right? Okay, ready? I see a triangle. The sandwich has the shape of a triangle, okay? The sandwich is cut in half, so it's shaped like a triangle. I see a triangle. The glass has the shape of a triangle, okay? This is a very special kind of glass in English. We call this a martini glass. And you don't need to know this till you're older because only adults can drink martinis because they're alcohol. So this very special drink is served in this very special glass called a martini glass. And the drink is called a martini and it's very delicious. But you will not try it until you're much older and you can drink alcohol, okay? So no martinis right now because you're just a kid. All right, I see a triangle. The cheese has the shape of a triangle, okay? So this piece of cheese is shaped like a triangle, all right? All right. This week we will make a poster about the shapes we see around us. Okay, so you're gonna do this by yourself when you uh, are done with this lesson. Okay, so you're gonna make a, I see some weird light on the screen. Okay, so you're gonna make a, sh a poster and step one, name the shapes and the picture of that shape. Okay, so name the shape. The name of the shape is a circle and there's a picture of a circle, okay? After naming, write the following sentences. I see a circle, I see a clock. A clock has a circle shape, okay? So let's think about how you might write these things, okay? So the first one is, I see a circle, I see a clock, a clock has a circle shape, okay? So let's think about what we could do for a square. So you might see a table. So you would write, I see a table. Or I'm sorry, I see a square. I see a table. A table has a square shape, okay? 
Same thing for rectangle, same thing for triangle, okay? So you'll wanna follow the example sentences, pick something that you see in your room, okay? So rectangle might be the door, triangle, I don't know what's in your room that's shaped like a triangle, you'll have to find something. But write these sentences, okay? So I see a P, I see a triangle, I see a pizza slice, a pizza slice has a triangle shape, okay? So you can make this, these three sentences work for whatever shape that you see, okay? So this is how you'll make your poster when you're done with this class, okay? All right, it's time for phonics, all right? Letter T stands for T. Say it with me, ready? T, T, okay? Phenom isolation, the initial T sound, okay? The letter T can stand for T at the beginning of words, okay? So let's say these words together and just listen for the sound of the letter T, okay? So, turkey. Turkey, that's a real turkey, by the way. They're huge birds. They're very, very big. Turkeys are actually very smart. They're incredibly difficult to hunt in the wild. So a lot of times hunters give a lot of respect to turkeys because turkeys are very clever and they will hide and run away and they're very hard to hunt. So a lot of people enjoy hunting turkeys because it's a really big challenge, okay? The next thing is ta ta tiger Ta-ta toys, ta-ta toe, table, and tie, okay? So a tie we wear around our neck. Our dad might wear a tie to work. Okay, say the picture name with me. Tell the first sound in each word, okay? So we just did that. Let's say more words, ready? So tell, ta-ta-ta, tell, ready? Say it with me, okay? This is easy. Time. T -t -t time. Good. Tack. T -t -t tack. A tack is like a, um, something that we would push into a wall. Okay, so it's like a big nail that we push into a wall. Okay. Top. T -t -t top. Good. Tip. T -t -t tip. Team. T -t -t team. They all begin with the same sound, which is. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, this is easy, very easy to do. Okay, next one. The final T sound. So the T sound can be on the end of the word, okay? So the letter T can stand for the T sound at the end of words. So these are some words that have that sound at the end, okay? Bat, feet, goat, vest, hat. Okay, so all of these words have the T sound at the end. Okay, so now we're going to say more words. Let's say them together. Mat, t -t -t mat. Good, say it with me. Sit, t -t -t sit. Let, t -t -t let. Set, t -t -t set. Cat, t -t -t cat. Okay, mat and sit have the same ending sound, which is t -t 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 Okay. All right. We're going to say some words. Write the letter T on your board when you hear a word that begins with the letter T. I don't think that you have a board. So what you can do is when you hear a word that begins with T, just clap your hands. Okay. Ready? Tin. Table. Pan. Pick. Tar. Mud. Okay. Good. Mud has no T sound. Pass. Tape, teach, move, kit. No, because the T sound is in the back, not the front. Now I'll say some words, okay? And I want you to do the same thing. Just clap your hands when you hear a word that ends with T. Ready? Pat, ran, mat, sit, can, put. Good. All right, now clap your hands when it begins or ends with T. So you gotta listen really carefully, ready? Tame, met, miss, tone, test. Whoa, that begins and ends with T. Tease, mud, cat, torn, type, 
song. Hat. All right. So I'm going to say the sounds in a word. So listen. So ready? Ta ip. Okay. So if I say to ip, I can blend those together and make the word tip. Okay. Okay. Sorry. My dinner came. That's when the doorbell rang. Did you hear it? Ding, ding. Okay. So we're going to say these words together. Ready? Ta ug. Tug. Ta ab. Tab. Ka at. Cat. Ta op. Top. Pa ot. Pot. Ta en. Ten. Sa it. Sit. Okay, let's say these together, okay? At. It's hard to split that up, so at. Pa at. Sa at. Sat. Ma at. Mat. Ta ap. Tap, ta am, tam, ma at, mat, ma app, map. Okay, good. All right, grammar. Blah, blah, blah. Verb is an action word that tells what someone or something does. Okay, so let's name the action in the following sentence. She can jump. What's the action? Jump. Very good. So jump is the verb. Okay. He can mix. What's the action? Mix. Good job. So mix is the verb. Okay. We can sing. La, 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 la. What's the action? What are we doing? We're singing. Okay. So sing is the verb. Okay. All right. So what can we do with a fork? What's a verb that we can do with a fork? What's an action? I eat with a fork. What's the action in this sentence? Yeah, eating, okay? Eating is our action. So I eat with a fork, okay? What is this? This, this is a coin. So what do we do with a coin? I can pay with a coin, okay? So I can give money. I can pay for something with a coin. Pay is the verb, okay? Pay is the action. I can write with a pencil. Okay, write is the action, write is the verb, okay? I can write with a pencil, okay? I can fly a kite. What is the action in the sentence? Fly, okay, I can fly a kite. Okay, that's the last thing. So I want you to go back to this poster exercise. Let's scroll back up here till we find our poster. And I want you to make this poster, here we are. I think it's after this, sorry. Okay, so I want you to draw this poster. So you name the shape, circle, square, rectangle, triangle. You can just copy this, okay? You use it as your model. And then what I want you to do is draw each shape. Then I want you to find something in your room that looks like this shape, and then I want you to draw it. And then I want you to write these three sentences about your object that has the same shape, okay? So you can show this to your mom and dad tonight and tell them all about the sh things in your room that have different shapes that you can show them, okay? Very, very good job tonight. Sorry about pausing you so I could go get my dinner when the doorbell rang, but we finished our lesson and you did a great job with phonics today. So excellent job and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye.